Things just aren't working between us anymore. We should both try and move on. I know. It's just that there were so many things I wanted us to do together. Then everything hit at the wrong time. You know I still care about you. I just wish I'd said it sooner. Eliza! Hi, Dante! <laughs> Hi! Okay, what is the matter? I got your text. You said it's important. Yeah, do you remember what day it is? Of course. Why? Well, I remember you talking about that play that you really wanted to see, but how the tickets were too expensive. Dante, so I no! Thought, I, no, I thought that I would buy a pair of tickets for us to see that show together to celebrate your third year anniversary with me. Oh my god, Dante! Dante? Yeah. This is very sweet. Eliza? Yeah. Hold on, it's my boss. I have to take this. Okay. Hello, Mr. Jacklow? Hello, Dante. What are you doing right now? Um, I'm just talking with someone. What's wrong? <sighs> Damn it, Dante, you didn't turn off the fryers when you switched shifts this morning. We lost nearly five batches because of you. Wait, what? Hurry up, Dante. It's nearly rush hour. If your ass is in the fryers in the next 15 minutes, you're fired. Okay, I'll be there in 15. You better. How much were the tickets? 120. I pre-ordered them. Refunds? Nope. Dante. I'm sorry. Dante? I should have let you go. Something inside me just wouldn't let me. 
I guess it's because I never got to say I love you. sure how I want to start this letter, so I guess I'm just going to say whatever comes to my mind. I always enjoyed the times that we spent together, the good times and the bad times. Your passing still hurts, but I've come to accept it now. Life goes on, I guess. I just have to move on with what I have. And I'm alright with that. I shouldn't be sad that our relationship is over, but glad that it happened. I guess this is farewell then. Goodbye, my dear Eliza.